Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. All right, listen. I am extremely excited, okay? When you talk about these downloads, they be downloaded, okay? Life is so, so good. So, this morning, um, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been doing, you know, the damn thing, okay? Okay, I've been doing it, okay? Very consistent, okay? Have so much discipline in myself. It ain't even funny, okay? And you know what? You know what? Um, I Not to toot my own horn, but to toot it. <laughs> that really comes from me doing my fast, okay? Because one of the things you got to know and two things for sure, honey, Okay? Because if you could discipline yourself in one area, you could discipline yourself in all areas, okay? So this morning, um, right here, I'm just, you know, doing doing the one and twos, okay? Making a bet up, all right? Make, making a bet up to start my day, okay? Off on a wonderful foot, okay? So um, you guys know I write my goals down each and every morning, okay? Just to um, stay consistent with it and... Is fun, right? When I first started and I heard Brian Tracy say, you know, write your goals down each and every morning. I was like, each and every morning, right? Because it's something new. It's something different. And I tell you guys all the time, when you are doing things that you never done before, you know, yeah, the old paradigm is going to um, say, you know, that don't make sense. Why do that? Why write the goals down when I could keep the ideas in my mind and stuff like that? But it's something when you write in your goals or write in your desires and everything, when you write it down, to me, it holds more weight. It's, it's something about the pen and the paper is like magical or something, right? And remember, all those ideas that you have in your mind, okay, we get so many ideas a day. So when you writing it down, it's like you could remember it because you'll go back and look over it like, oh my goodness. And nothing feels more amazing than when you going through your goals and you like, oh, I accomplished this. Oh, I did it. Brings me to the next point. Psycho Cybernetics, the book. Okay. Focus on your big accomplishments or fo- not. It, they don't even have to be big. Okay. But focus on your accompli- accomplishments. I mean, accomplishments, okay? Things that you have done in your life that were a success, okay? And as long as you focus on the successes, the more you are going to receive success. Success isn't something that you pursue. Success is you doing the thing that you enjoy to do. And, you know, it's not about chasing anything outside your existence because whatever you chase, let's face it, okay? It's going to run further from you. But I'm just so extremely excited. And the reason why I'm extremely excited also is because I'm listening to Neville Goddard, okay, this morning. Okay, I'm listening to Neville, okay. And the video um, that I was listening to, it was something like rearrange your mind, okay. And one of the things he says in the video, he says, the rich man is no different than a poor man. And a poor man is no different from the rich man. It's just they minds, right? Like how they think and stuff like that. And so when I say we are um, all connected, right, is is only one mind. And there's universal mind. Got that? Honey, get the, get the book, okay? Three Magical Words by, by your Anderson, okay? It's only one mind. That's universal mind. So all this stuff that you're thinking about, remember, you're going to attract this. I'm, I'm thinking about success, right? You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about success. And all my attention is going towards success, right? Like me writing my goals down, not me, you know, pursuing, but me writing my goals down, um, you know, me reading a books and stuff like that. And, I, you know, when they say pursue, right, um, me reading the books and stuff like that and me working more so on myself because as I'm writing the goals down, it's never about me. Um, uh, it's never really about the destination, right? So it's never really about the goal. It's about the person that I am becoming. Okay. So if I start, if I'm writing my goals down each and every morning, okay, and then I'm I'm reading and you know I'm doing things to empower my mind is about 
damn, you know, I'm really disciplined, okay? And I can't ask for no no husband, okay? You know, I, I can't be asking for no B.I.B. sweetie, okay, that's disciplined. If I ain't disciplined, right? Because we attract what we are. So when you understand it and you get that, life is just, oh my goodness, life is just phenomenal. But I wanted to make another point, okay? So as I was listening to Neville Gauder, one of the things, and I had never got a book, um, The Power of Awareness, but I don't know where that book, whatever, I'll order another one. But anywho, um, what's so, what's so phenomenal is this, okay? I was listening to Neville Goddard, and as I'm listening to him, right, one of my goals on my list is, because it's something that I want to do, and I guess because I had seen movies of this, but... One of my goals is to take a road trip to Louisiana, me and my children, dr just driving to Louisiana, having a good old time in a car. That's one of my goals. And I talk to you guys a lot, a lot about synchronicity. So as I was, you know, right and like, you know, I am so happy and grateful um, that my children and I... Let me see. Let me let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let me see, honey. I am so happy and grateful now that my children and I are taking a road trip, okay, to Louisiana, driving to Louisiana, okay? And it's so it's so detailed that, you know, well, taking a trip to Louisiana. Um, but then I say, you know, the next day we we going to Louisiana, but we got to we got to go to Whole Foods, okay? I got to get the stuff from Whole Foods and, you know, visualizing it and seeing it, okay? And walking through the aisles at Whole Foods and, and picking up Dr. Bonner's soap and, you know, the toothpaste and everything that we need, um, Burt Bees, because we need this stuff to take with us on our road trip. And, you know, of course, getting something to eat, you know, a salad, or, you know, some salads and, you know, things of that nature. My children get what they get. And then I'm getting a juice evolution. OK, and this is the power of visualization. OK, this is the power of it. And when when I visualize the energy, it just feels so good. And let me tell you something. The reason why you probably don't visualize is because you have not been programmed to do so. Okay. I remember hearing Earl Nightingale and The Strangest Secret. One of the things he says, he says, you know, we pretty much have been given, you know, a mind. And since our mind is free and we could do whatever and put whatever into it, you know, sometimes people take it for granted. Okay. So if you don't program your own mind, okay, then someone else will be programming your mind. And when I say program your own mind, this is what I'm merely saying, okay? Each and every morning you wake up, you have the choice, right? Like I have the choice. I have the choice to listen to personal development, okay? I have the choice to read the books. I have the choice to say my affirmations, I have the choice to meditate, to connect to my higher self, okay? Those are choices. Now, someone else, okay, they have the choice just like me. And they choice may be watch television. They choice may be, you know, um, go on social media, social media first thing in the morning. That may be their choice. Now, either one isn't good or bad okay remember good or bad is just what we um we label things to be because my good could be your bad and your bad could be my good right and so is is never about that is is always about you do what works for you okay always keep that in mind you do what works for you if that's what works for you and that's what you like doing then you continuously do it so is not about, you know, the person who write the goals down and, you know, read the books and stuff like that. That person is doing what, what works for them. And just as well as the person that's, you know, on social media and watching television, that person also is doing what works for them. Okay. And so knowing so, 
I, I feel like, you know, you become less judgmental because you, so, you, you so, let me tell you something. When you so focused about what you got going on in your life, you're not so concerned about what other people are doing. You get what I'm saying? Like, like really get that because that's one of the things that I start realizing about my life. Like, you know, I'm so focused on my life. I ain't got time to be, you know, looking on other people's pages, watching other people, um, um, videos like that. Okay. Now I watch it. <clears throat> I right, I watch personal development, but you know, I don't have time to um be doing all those things that is not serving me. Okay, so life is always about choices. And I know some people say that, yeah, but we have, you know, we do have choices and we have free will and you know, all those different things. And I keep saying and I really want the person out there to get it. Yeah, we all have free will, we all have choices. Yes, that is exactly true. But let me tell you something. That do not exempt you from these laws of this here universe. Like gravity is a law. Okay? If someone was to go to a 12-story building and walk off the edge and they say, well, I just didn't know that I would go down. Okay? One of the things I remember Jim Rohn saying you know, maybe they haven't been here long enough, <laughs> okay? But if they walk off, okay, gravity is a law, okay? So ignorance, it does not exempt or excuse the results that you tend to get. And that's why it's important to look at your life and say, well, what am I producing and do I like it? Not if they like it or if, if, if my family like it or if my children or, you know, if my friends like it or if society likes it. No, do you like it? Because that's what's important. It's not important if someone else likes it and if it's not serving you or if it's not working for you. Okay. That, that's not important. It has to work for you. And that is the most important thing. Because if it's not working for you, guess what? Then that means that you need to do something different. And that's how my journey pretty much started, right? Like when I um, went through and, and I, you know, the spiritual awakening and, you know, things of that nature just became more aware. I started seeing is certain things that don't work for me. And if they don't work for me, I'm not going to continuously do it. And it don't take a long time for you to see what works for you and what don't works for you. It's all about you being aware and you being an observer of your life and seeing, you know, well, if this makes me, if this makes me feel this way, tapping in, why do it makes me feel that way? One of the things I love so much about um, Lisa Nichols, I remember her. He, I remember hearing her say, "In the morning, when she would wake up, she would constantly say she has nothing to protect, nothing to hide, nothing to defend. It's like detaching yourself." And to the person that's out there, I want you to get so excited about life. The reason being is because you came here to have fun. You came here to live. You came here to be inspiration. And you, can, you came here to grow. You came here to allow infinite intelligence or to have God live through you. That's what you came here for. And every time that you're not doing the thing that you was created to do is like, you know, is either you creating or you disintegrate. And I said that time and time again. So we all have choices, but you have to rearrange your mind and time so you can find, okay, sign me. I'm a, you know, sign me. I'm a rapper. Okay. But I just want the person out there to get it. I love you guys. Keep rocking out. Keep believing in yourselves. Write those goals down.